We seem to revisit side chaining again and again, but it is so useful and so interesting in how it can be used. And not just for creating your standard pumping dance mix. But what I find though is different settings work better for different elements. So what I actually do is create some groups, each with different types of side chaining compression. Still driven from a kick in this case, for the most part. And what I do is I set each one with a different set of parameters, so different attack, different release, to suit different types of elements. You can see I've got different compressors on the bus. I've got the um, bass one here. I have one for drums. I have one for called soft pump, one called hard pump, which, uh, again, have different amounts of pumping this. To put it that way, and once again, they all derive from to get their side chain information from this side kick. Um, sorry, side chain kick. Which I've got set up here. Incidentally, if you that D there means that when I solo anything, it will keep on playing. If you alt and then press solo, that enables that. So I've got all the compressors. And it just makes the overall results far more subtle. And it also means you've got different types of side chaining compression which you can try straight away because they're set up and already configured on each group. <laughs> 